is how to transfer all your data across from your old iPhone to your new iPhone 15, 15 Plus, 15 Pro or 15 Pro Max. This process will transfer everything including your photos, email messages, apps, texts and passwords. Before you start, make sure you have your Apple ID and password to hand and make sure Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are turned on on your old iPhone. It's also worth checking that the total amount of data stored on your old iPhone does not exceed the maximum storage available on your new iPhone or you'll get this error message and be able to proceed any further until sufficient data is cleared from your old iPhone. And lastly, before you can start this transfer, make sure that your new iPhone is on this hello screen. And if it isn't and you've already got the home page showing on your new iPhone 15, then you can reset it back to the hello page by going into settings, general, and then transfer or reset iPhone and then erase all content and settings. And then continue to follow the instructions to erase your iPhone. This will reset your new iPhone back to the very beginning as it was out of the box, but it won't erase any content from your old iPhone. Now let's begin the data transfer process. Place your old iPhone, the one that you're going to transfer your data from, next to your new iPhone. And then swipe up on your new iPhone and tap continue. This should trigger a set up new iPhone pop-up window on your old iPhone. If you don't get this pop-up window, then just lock and unlock your old iPhone and try again. So let's tap unlock on the pop-up message to continue. Now it's connecting. And now we have to hold the camera on our old iPhone over the moving pattern. Now it's getting things ready. And now we need to continue on our old iPhone where we have an option to set up our new iPhone for ourselves or create a child account. So I'm going to set it up for myself. And now we need to enter the passcode of our old iPhone onto our new iPhone. Now at this point in the process, you may get this error message saying unable to activate and saying that your iPhone cannot be activated without an internet connection. So what I did was I tapped on try again and it resolved the issue. So maybe it was just a blip in my internet connection and that was all. Now the next screen that I got on my new iPhone 15 Pro was this software update screen, advising me that if I want to transfer my data directly from my old iPhone, I need to update the software on this new iPhone. So if you get the same message as me, just tap on update now and then accept the terms and conditions of the agreement and allow the software to install. And after the software is installed, it will go back to the start of the process. So feel free to go back and watch my video from the start again. So continuing with this process, if you're based in the UK like myself, you'll most likely get this data and privacy screen come up. So just tap on continue. But if you're based in the US, you'll probably get an eSIM screen instead, giving you instructions on how to transfer your electronic SIM from your old iPhone to your new iPhone. So go ahead and follow those instructions to transfer your eSIM to get to the next screen, which should be this data and privacy screen. And after tapping on continue, we then get the face ID screen, which is very good and well worth setting up because it means you can log into apps without having to enter any more passwords. So continue with that. And now we need to just tap on get started and then position our face within the circle and rotate our head slowly to complete the circle. And now we have the option to use face ID with a mask, but I'm not going to bother, so I'm going to tap on don't use face ID with a mask. Face ID is now set up, so I can tap on continue. And now we finally get to the data transfer screen, so let's tap on continue. Setting up your Apple ID. And now we need to accept the terms and conditions, so I'll tap on agree. Here's everything set up as you had it on your other iPhone. Yes, so I'm going to make this my new iPhone. Enable location services. Yes, I need that for the maps and everything. Uh, option to add your bank card. I will do that later. It's quite useful to have that. And uh, and I won't buy iCloud storage for now. Oh no. And I'm not going to share my analytics for now. So I'm going to tap on don't share. And this is just a summary of the emergency SOS, which is really good. You've got crash detection as well. So I'm going to tap on continue. And now it's transferring the data across from my old iPhone. Now, if you're low on battery, it's a good idea. If it's below halfway, or mine's about halfway, it is a good idea. And it does recommend 
to keep the connector to a power supply until the transfer is complete because you don't want it losing power while it is during the transfer process and it's saying estimated time about 37 minutes and about 30 minutes later and the data transfer is complete and that didn't take too long considering that there was about 120 gigabytes of data transferred let's swipe up and let's tap on continue this is apple pay where you can use your iphone to pay for things so i'll set that up later silent mode you can toggle silent mode on and off okay and this is the new action button which is the new feature on the iphone 15 pro and you can customize it for different actions but i'll do that later welcome to iphone and if i go into this phone as well okay it's got a pop-up saying device added to your account that's fine okay with that tap on continue erase this iphone now, i do have the option to erase this iphone if i want to trade it in but i'm not going to do that now so i'm going to tap on not now and now you may get a pop-up message asking you to use this iphone when sharing your location and i'm going to say yes to that because i will be using my iphone 15 pro from now on and just a few minutes later and my emails are now showing and all the apps have refreshed and my iphone 15 pro is a mirror image of my iphone 14 pro so if you like this video please thumbs it up share and subscribe and thanks for watching